Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I just realized the camera was like stupid close to my face. I was just gonna fix that. <sighs> Good morning. Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I'm a hot mess. I've been battling this crazy eye allergy for <sighs> I feel like forever now, but I think it's only been for like a month. But I figured out what it what it is. I think I'm having a really bad reaction. I think I'm having like some contact dermatitis because um I stopped wearing eye makeup and I stopped using any any of my eye makeup. Just had to stop doing it. And since I've stopped it, um, I still have some f like flakiness, but the overall redness has like gone down and the itchiness has kind of stopped. So that's good. Mm. Sorry, this is going to be kind of one of those have coffee with me situations. Uh, my hair is a mess, but it's also tired of being up in a bun. So I'm going to take it out. So I realized I haven't vlogged in a hot minute. Um, and I know you guys get tired of watching me eat breakfast, so I just thought I'd do a, a different kind of vlog this morning. I actually haven't eaten breakfast yet today, so I'm going to do that probably after I finish this. <laughs> um, I honestly just needed to vent. It's been a really rough couple of weeks. Um, number one, this isn't the hardest thing that's happened, but my caregiver who um, takes care of our son after school... Um, has been out of the country for the last two weeks and we had a fill in and she's been great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not upset about that. I mean, I knew that was coming. We prepared Corey for it. He's been very, he's been very good about, you know, you know, he was prepared. So because he was prepared, it wasn't a big deal, but the timing, this, this basically this, this whole situation that I'm getting ready to talk about has to do with the shittiest timing, just the absolute shittiest timing. So, um, so my caregiver is going to be back, I think on Monday, Monday or Tuesday. I know she gets back in the country Saturday and then she's going to come back Monday or Tuesday. We weren't, we weren't really clear on that detail. I wasn't really sure, but anyway, she'll be back. And then that situation will be normalized, which is really good because Corey really, really likes that. You guys, I'm really sorry. I know it's going to be weird, but I'm going to go get a straw, so stand by. And I'm back. Sorry, that took so long. Sorry, I got a, I got a bendy straw. It's purple. I know, I, I know I, you guys don't like me having a cup in my face, and my coffee's pretty cool, so I'll just use a straw. Super bendy straw. Awesome. Okay. So... Situation that has happened is that I'm getting very tired of the education department. I feel like the education department at my son's school is kind of screwing him over. But not in the sense that he's not getting a good education, just in the sense that <laughs> everyone he loves keeps leaving. I'm going to backtrack this. So last year, um, the beginning of school last year, my son was a freshman and his teacher was this darling, darling girl from Indiana. So good. She was super sweet, super excited. And she, this was, she wasn't new to special education, but she was new to, um, this particular program. Um, and those of you that don't know, my son is, um, he's on the autism spectrum he, honestly, that weird spectrum, I'm not even sure I even understand it, but if I had to classify him to put him into a specific part of the spectrum, it might be right in the middle of the circle. Because he's, you know, he's, he's verbal. He doesn't have the best um, language, though. Poor social skills. Um, he's very sweet-natured. He's a very sweet-tempered young man. He's very sweet. He's really funny. He has a good sense of humor. But he lacks, um, he lacks appropriate, like, social... Yeah, he doesn't... So, he, but he doesn't really have a lot of social anxiety, which is funny. Like, we can go out into a new place. Like, we'll go to a restaurant. We'll go to the mall. He doesn't necessarily have problems with the social structure of those things. He just, um, he doesn't really like 
the loudness of it. So we always have to bring noise canceling headphones, which is fine. I mean, if that's the worst thing that we have to do, it's fine because he loves to go out. He loves to go to movies. He loves to go out to dinner. That's his favorite thing in the world. He loves to go out and eat. He's definitely my kid. So true. But anyway, back to my story. Um, so this was her first year teaching in this particular program and she was so excited. Like that was the thing that made me just like immediately fall in love with her. She was crazy excited about the program. She was so excited to start teaching. And she was really, really like, you could tell she had a good head on her shoulder. She knew exactly what she wanted to do and what she wanted to bring to the, the classroom. And we were really excited. So that year, my son's freshman year of high school was awful. He had a horrible adjustment time. He had a horrible time adjusting, which I completely and totally understand. We were all prepared for that. We were just like freshman year. It's not going to be like junior high. He's not going to have the same, um, it's the same setup. He's not going to be able to take breaks. And I mean, he's able to take breaks and they they offer those to him. And, but he's not going to like be able to have that chill out room that he had at his um, junior high. And so, you know, he started doing a lot of inappropriate behavior at school. And we, you know, we dealt with that and we did what we had to do. And like, kind of like mid, mid first quarter, things started to kind of wrap up and kind of calm down. And we got him on, you know, we got him on new meds. We got him on, you know, we we're just like trying to test the waters and, you know, trying to figure out what worked best for him. And so finally, probably like around, probably after the, I think the first quarter ended, it was, I guess that's in October, like last October. Oh no, that, I might be lying. It might have been the, the tail end of the, first, the start of the second quarter. Anyway, but I think it was like right around the Thanksgiving break, things kind of started to chill out. So he started to you know, he started to function and be a little bit more, you know, you know, easier to handle in the classroom. And then we get the news that his teacher is going to be leaving at the end of the second quarter. I was pissed. Not to mention, I think my first emotion was just utter, utter sadness utter sadness because I loved this girl she she was just so sweet and I was sad I was sad why she had to leave it was it, it wasn't even it wasn't really even any aspect of the job itself it was the fact that she couldn't afford to live in this area and I understand that I mean my husband and I can't afford to live in this area either but we stay just I mean it's my same it's my same argument we can't afford to live where we live, but we make sacrifices and we do what we have to do to stay here for the school system. That's the honest, to, hand to God. That's the, that's the truth. Living here has no, you know, you know, I, I don't have a lot of friends in this area. Like my very best friend lives in Pennsylvania. I never get to see her. My family is starting to be more dispersed around the area. I mean, yeah, given you know, a chunk of my family lives only 20 minutes away, which is great, but my parents are getting ready to move. My husband and I are discussing moving ourselves just because we want to be closer to my parents. And then my one aunt wants to move closer to her daughter, who ironically lives closer to my parents' new home than she does to her own mother. So my aunt is like seriously, is like almost ready to like, move because she's getting ready to be a grandma. So, so it's like, you know, you want to be closer. I mean, you want to be closer, especially in my family. This is kind of how everything has worked out. We've always had family around. So emergencies, like anything that goes wrong, if you, you can, you know, we're here for each other. That's, you know, that's what family does. That's what we do. So, so that's, that's happening. But anyway, sorry, back to my story. I'm getting off topic. <laughs> Tangent. <laughs> that is Carly. Hmm. So anyway, so this teacher leaves end of second quarter. So December, my son transitions again from one classroom to another. This classroom he goes in and the head teacher is a guy, which I'm not going to lie. I was actually really happy about because this gentleman, 
you know, he was a big guy. He didn't take, and my son's a big dude too. And luckily this teacher is a big guy and my son's um, teacher's aide who was assigned to him, also a big guy. So, and that actually works out for him because he needs, he, I think he need, he responds better to men in that particular scenario. Especially in this case, like he really needed a lot, a lot of, you know, positive male role models going on. And so that worked out. So I was apprehensive about this gentleman teaching my son only because, you know, you don't meet a lot of guys that are in, are, number one, you don't meet a lot of gentlemen that are special education teachers. And if you do, it's, you know, they can be very, um, I found in my experience that they're not all that good. This guy blew me away, honestly. Really good teacher, really good behavior um, analyst. I think he had a serious background in um, behavior, behavior therapy, I believe, before he became a teacher. And he was just a really sweet guy, really good guy. And so they transitioned Corey into his class and it was pretty seamless and it worked out. And so, so at the end of last year, when we had my son's IEP, this gentleman was going to be his teacher. He was going to keep the same, his same aide who, by the way, this guy was rumored to be leaving the school, but he decided that he was going to stay. So we were like, great. Because what we were going to do is because if he had decided to leave and this, his, his, this teacher's aide decided to leave, we were going to have to prepare our son for that, like going into the school year, he wasn't going to have the same guy. So fast forward to September this year when school started, the teacher's aide didn't show back up. He decided to take another position at another job, at another school, sorry. And I'm... I'm like so angry and I'm not angry at him. I'm angry at the situation because I really wish, I really wish he would have told us. He has our email addresses. He knows how to get in touch with us. And I'm not asking, I, mean, I don't have any questions for him regarding why he took his other position. I get it. I get it. More money, a better position. I understand that. Those things I understand. What I'm upset about is that you don't tell me. And if you don't tell me, I can't tell my son and I can't prepare him. So he is going into school thinking that, oh, I'm going to see my teacher's aid. Everything's going to be the same. And for somebody that appreciates and likes sameness, kind of screwed me over a little bit. Just saying. Pissed me off. So I'm dealing with that. He's actually doing pretty good because he um, had another teacher's aid in his class that he liked last year, so they just paired those two up. So that's okay. I mean, he's still upset about it, clearly. And his teacher is like, you know, I'm really sorry this happened. And he, and even his teacher, you could tell his teacher was really upset. Was really upset that this happened. I'm sorry about my camera, you guys. Um, and he was really upset that this happened too. So I was like, well, you know, We'll be positive about it. We'll push forward. We'll just move forward from this situation. He's like, yeah, it's a great idea. I was like, okay. So about three weeks ago, I get a text from my husband and it says, did you read the email from Corey's teacher? I had not. So I open up the email. Holy shit! Get an email. His teacher, the one that he's been with for going on his second year now, is getting ready to leave this school. I called my husband. I was in a rage. I was in a rage. I called my husband and I said, I was, like, I'm crying on the phone. I'm so upset. I'm like, this can't be happening. This cannot be happening. This is the third teacher to leave in less than one year. Less than a year. I cannot believe all these people are leaving my child. And again, I'm not even upset that he's leaving. I'm upset about the timing. The timing is so shitty. Just the worst timing possible. I would have been more, I would have been more appreciative if he, if he had said, even if he had said, 
at the beginning of the year, there's a possibility I might be leaving. Would have prepared me. We could have prepared our son. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So angry. And again, I completely understand why he's doing it. You know, I don't, again, I don't begrudge anybody for leaving the position that they're in if they're going to do something else that's going to be more suitable for them. I get, I get being a special needs teacher is a very hard job, very hard. And you know, you get burnt out. You know, you get burnt out, you do. I understand that, I get it. It's just, I'm not even mad at anybody specifically, I'm just mad about the timing. I'm like, you couldn't have waited and it's just the, it's just the, what my thinking? I was like, you couldn't have even waited until after the first quarter of school was over. You couldn't have even done that. And I get it. Just, you know, he got the position, his new position, and they wanted him to start, you know, sooner than later. I get that. But I'm so angry. So now, so now he's got to transition again to a different teacher. So this new teacher he has, I love, I was like, I will say this, like when I, when I found out that his teacher that just left was leaving and I was on the phone, I was on the phone with my husband, I sent him a text and I was like, you know what? I'm just done. If this is going to keep happening, I'm just done. I'm done with the school. I'm done with the school system. Let's just leave the area because we're not getting anything that we need. We're just not, let's just go. I'm done. So I was like, let's just get our shit together and go, you know, just, you know, we, I mean, we, I mean, honestly, this area is not for us. We're not political people. We don't work in the government. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. It's too expensive to live here for like, cause you don't get anything. You don't. I mean, for the amount of money that we pay in a, for a two bedroom condo in where we live, we live in, um, we live in the DMV area and we live in a pricey area. I get a two, I get two bedrooms, I get a tiny kitchen, I get a tiny dining room and I get one bathroom. And I'm like, we can move out to a different area of, you know, where we live, of this state and pay less in a mortgage than we are paying for this apartment. And I don't begrudge where we live. I love where we live. Our landlord is salt of the earth the sweetest woman I've ever met. Just so sweet to us. And she's been so good to us about everything. And I appreciate her and I appreciate being able to live here. And I'm grateful to be able to live here. Don't get me wrong. But it's just, it, to me, I'm like starting to get to the point where it's just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it if this is going to keep happening. So, so his uh, teacher's last day of school was yesterday. And Corey was in pretty good mood. On top, of, on top of it being the last day of school, it's also spirit week at school this week, so he's been very distracted, which is probably better. But I'm... I like his new teacher a lot. She's very good. She's really sweet. She oh, kind of comes from the same background as his previous teacher. She has a lot of uh, behavior, behavior experience. And she's also a mom, so... She understands that aspect of it too, but I'm just, I just needed to vent. I really did. I was just, I'm just so upset and I'm upset because I don't want people to give up on my son. I just don't. And I know that the people who shouldn't give up on him are, you know, me and me and his dad and you know, my husband and I, we're not going to give up on him because he's our boy. He's our, he's our, he's our favorite person. It's just been a bad, it's just been a bad couple of weeks. <laughs> it just culminated in a really bad day yesterday. I just couldn't even, I didn't even want to get out of bed. And most days I don't want to get out of bed, but it's usually just because I'm tired. But yesterday I just, it took, it took Jesus Christ to lift me out of bed. It really did. I just, because I didn't want to move. I realize that, you know, with everything that's going on with him, it makes me miss my father-in-law so much. And then I start thinking about my dad. 
and my dad passed away a year ago today, I think, actually. And I don't even know what to say about that. I mean, I did a blog about it and how my how I feel about it, but I think, you know, I'm still sad that he's not here. I really miss my grandma, and then I think about I think about my cousin who's pregnant, and she's getting ready to have her probably it might be the very last great grandchild that she would have had, and. I start getting bogged down, and I just start feeling... I start feeling overwhelmed. But I know that... I know that they're all in a better place. I know that in my heart. But thanks for joining me. For coffee and... Your basic autism mom bitch fest. I think that's what I'll title this. Your basic autism mom bitch fest. Yeah. Hmm. Apparently I'm out. Okay. So I'm going to make breakfast and take a shower and get ready to go to work. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just got to move on. All right. I got to go. Listen, if you like this video, thumbs up subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, I'm Positively Carly on Instagram, and um, this weekend is going to be pretty, pretty stressful, but in a good way, in a good way. We're having my cousin's baby shower, and I'm really excited about that, and I'm in charge of decor. I don't really know how that happened, I just did, but um, I'm excited for that. So, um, peace out everyone. Love yourselves, love each other.